In this video, I'm going to give you my top three reasons why Renee Goldsberry is an amazing singer. So let's sing something. La la la. If you are new to my channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell icon because I come out with a new video every single day teaching you how to sing. Yay! Now today I'm gonna go over my top three reasons why I think Renee Goldsberry is like a crazy amazing singer. Now a lot of you that have followed my channel and already subscribed, you know that I did a huge Hamilton series every single week coming out with a new video from Hamilton. There's a ton in that playlist and I will be sure to put the link down below. But as I was going through that whole playlist, I really, like, I already liked Renee, but then I really kind of fell in love with her way of singing. It's just phenomenal. She really is talented. Now, I would suggest that if you want to learn how she's doing what she's doing and you print out a form, just head on over to vocalfreebies.com, click on cheat sheets, and then click on Hamilton. And I have cheat sheets for all of the cast members, including Renee Goldsberry. Print it out, come on back, and follow along. But let's get started with my top three reasons why she's like really good. Number one, vocal stability. Renee has this amazing way of being able to dance around and move her body without judging her sound and stabilizing that air. Let's take a look. So she's squatted down, hands all the way up. So she has that movement that she can do. So in that whole framework, she is squatted down and then she's shifting her uh, abs. I don't know why I forgot the word of abs. She's shifting her abs side to side with her hips. If she didn't stabilize her air correctly, then she would have this jutted voice going on. And instead, she's making sure a couple of things. One, she's lifting that nasal pharynx. So she's giving a kind of bit of crazy faces how I like to teach people how to activate that lifted pharynx. Big eyes, big brows, flared nose, feel the air come up here. And you wanna kind of focus on the air and the focus being up here, not focus on bottling up air into the diaphragm. If you do that, it's gonna move all, 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 all around instead of having it lighter. And then your voice is stable and you can do all the cute stuff that she does. Number two, vocal flexibility. Renee does an amazing job as well at jumping from a lower note into a higher note really smoothly. Now let's check this one out. So right here. Looking for a mind work, work. I'm looking for a mind work, work. So that note jump right there. Looking for a mind at work. That's not an easy jump. Da 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 da. And she's just quickly popping into that nasal pharynx. If you're wanting to make that same kind of quick jump, then you're going to think of the note before as already being lifted. So instead of looking for a too far in the chest and then mind and you pull up that weight you want to think of the note before as being lifted looking for a looking for a so i'm back in that crazy face and then i sing the next section on that same platform looking for a mind at work so that way it connects one into the other rather than dragging the weight up come remind me what we're looking for looking for eliza i'm looking for a mind at work work i'm looking surprises. Click the link in the description below and join our creative community of singers just like you. Number three, use of space. This 
is my favorite part that uh, this is like number one as to why I love Renee Goldsberry's voice. Those of you that have watched my reviews know that I am a huge advocate for opening your mouth, trying to get as much space as possible within your mouth so that way we can get as much volume and depth and build within the voice to come on out and it sounds amazing and Renee is just so good at this. So her entire space is all the way open. We're going to watch a little bit more of it and watch as she opens again. It's long, it's very long, but you feel so right, and I got it so when you're going for the dimensions of opening up the space, why is it important? What is she doing correctly? You can see immediately her jaw is unhinged, the tongue is down, the nasal pharynx is lifted. She is making use of as much space as possible. And this happens all the time throughout her singing. Look at that. Big open space. So I wanna go over the difference between Angelica and then Philip Hsu's version of Eliza. And look at ah, uh, Angelica, which is the ah, uh, and then Eliza. And look at the difference in mouth positioning. Not saying that Philip Hsu goes about doing it wrong, just stating that Renee definitely takes advantage of as much space as possible. Go ahead and click here for my free downloadable cheat sheet on how to sing like Renee Goldsberry as well as all the other cast members of Hamilton. Click here for all of my Hamilton related videos. Whoop, whoop. And if you're a singer, come hang out with me in my Facebook group. The link is down below and I will see you in the next song. La, 